This is Flutter Basics from the Flutter Guys YouTube channel. When we want to start learning, the best thing we can do is to check popular apps and try to implement their components. But wait, what does it mean? For example, when you are checking Instagram, try to implement Instagram's bottom navigation bar with Flutter. To implement a simple bottom navigation bar, the first thing we have to do is to convert our class from stateless to stateful. Then we put a scaffold in the build method. In the scaffold, we have a parameter called bottom navigation bar in which we can set the bottom navigation bar method. Now here we have to set a list of items which are actually tabs with their icons. Before doing this, we have to add our icons to the project. First we create a folder called assets, then inside it we create another folder called vectors and we put the icons in this folder and then we define the vectors folder in pubspec. The format of the icons we want to use is SVG. To use SVG we must add the Flutter SVG package to the project like this. And finally to apply changes in the project just press Ctrl plus S in pubspec. Now we need to define our tabs. To do this we use items property, which is a list of bottom navigation bar item. Therefore, we need to use bottom navigation bar item to define the item. The first item that we need to define is the home item. In the bottom navigation bar item, we have a property called icon, which is a widget type. And we can define SVG picture widget from the Flutter SVG package and pass the icon path to it. We add the rest of the items in the same way. The last item is the profile picture, which is in a circular box. To implement this, we can use container and define the image and its decoration property using image and also set the box shape of the container to circle. Also set the height and width of the container to 30. I put the profile picture and images inside the assets folder and also define the images folder in pubspec. Now if we run the app we will get this error. The reason for this error is that each item must have a label, or so to speak a title. Because our items do not have a label, we leave them as an empty text. Now if you look carefully, you will see that the distance between the items is different and not fixed. To solve this problem it is enough to set the type property value to fixed. Also we can't move between items now. In order to be able to move, we first define an int variable called selected index and set its default value to item number 0. Now when we want to switch between items, we have to change the selected index value. For this we can use the onTap method and use setState to change the selected index value to the number of the item we clicked on. And finally we must set the value of the current index property equal to the selected index variable. In order to be able to show the specific content when an item is clicked we need to define a list of widgets, which is actually the same list of pages. Since we don't have a page in this project we define a list of containers with different colors. Now we just need to define this list in the body and pass the selected index to it. Also when the item is clicked we have to fill the icon. For this we have defined two types of icons in the project bold and outline, and it is enough to check in each item that if the selected index is equal to the item number, the filled icon will be displayed, otherwise the outline icon. And finally if you pay attention, the icons are located higher. In order to place them in the center of the bottom navigation, we must set the value of the two properties show selected labels and show unselected labels equal to false. And make to sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.